Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial, today, I'm gonna show you a method on how to easily set up realistic procedural road texture in Blender for both EV and Cycles. Now, let's get started, first, I'm gonna add a plane object, resize it a bit, then add a couple of cubes on top, now, select the plane and add a material, I'm gonna rename it as road texture, next, add an image texture, then open our road texture, you can download it on the link in the description, now, connect it to the base color input, now you can see that our plane object is now our road texture, as you can see, we are now on cycles render engine, actually, this works for both EV and cycles, now, we're gonna add some bump and wet texture on the road, to do that, select the image texture, then press Ctrl T to add the mapping and texture coordinate node, but make sure you enable the node wrangler add-on first before you do that, next, add noise texture, connect the mapping node to noise texture, add a color ramp, duplicate it by pressing shift D, then connect the noise texture to both color ramp, next, gonna add a bump node here, connect the second color ramp to height, then the first color ramp to roughness, then normal to normal, now, you can see that the bump and wet textures already appear on the road, on the noise texture, you can change the scale value to modify the bump texture size, I'll make this 1.5 in value, you can also play with the detail value to change the look of the bump textures, the first color ramp controls the roughness and wetness of the road, if you drag it to the right, the road becomes wet, and dry as you drag it to the left side. The second color ramp controls the intensity of the road bump. Let's reduce the bump strength a bit, because it's too heavy on my opinion. Now, just play with the value of the color ramp, bump and noise texture nodes to refine the bump texture until you achieve the look that you want. Now, select the cube. Add a new material, gonna rename it as emission. Add an emission shader and delete the principal BSDF, then connect the emission node to surface. This will now make the cube glow and reflect some light to the road. Next, select the other cube then add the emission material. Looking good. Now, to make the scene look better, we're gonna add an HDRI to add some natural lighting. To do that, go to the world properties, click new, color, environmental texture. Then select the HDRI that you want, for me, I'm gonna go for City HDRI. As you can see, the scene becomes more realistic, you can reduce the strength of the HDRI to reduce the lighting on the scene, next, just play with the value of the color ramp, bump and noise texture nodes to refine the bump texture until you achieve the look that you want. Alright, perfect. Hope you learned something from this video. Thank you guys for watching on this quick tutorial, see you.